Good morning, friends. I am going to start some um, bread today. Um, I'm doing Mr. Jerry's favorite and mine. It is the brioche bread. It is by um, Alexandra. This equals out to four points a slice. <clears throat> I'm doing half of a loaf or a half of a recipe. Instead of two loaves, I make them one. So I have pulled out my flour, my sugar, my milk, my yeast, salt, and then I will be melting butter and I'll get the um, water. So let me put the dry ingredients together and I'll bring you back. Okay, it calls for flour and I go by the grams that she suggests. And I need 384. And I found that this works the best. It's just going by the grams. And it is really close. So there is the flour. So I'm going to um, add all the dry ingredients and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I got my wet ingredients here. I'm going to add it to the dry. And this will be a very sticky dough. And then I will mix it up and bring you back. Okay, so it's all mixed, and this is what it, and it says it's sticky. It is sticky, and it's supposed to be that way. So I will cover it, and now it will rise for three hours um, before I go to the next step. So we'll see you in three hours. Good morning, friends. I thought I'd pop on and um, do our quick little morning chat. Um, I am out in the sunroom. It is um, a dreary day. It's supposed to be near 57, so we'll take it. Um, I have the fireplace heater going. It is almost 70 out here. Nice and comfortable. Miss Callie is snoozing next to me. She's not sleeping too much. I think she can hear me, so. But, um... And I'm working on another Christmas hat. I I have, after this hat, I have two more hats to do for Christmas. So I already have finished one, two, three, four hats, a pair of mittens. And then I have, this one will be five. And then um, what I have left is our grandsons and um, our son in loves. So, and then that part of the Christmas will be done. Mr. Jerry has a couple ideas. We always try to do um, a big gift for each family. And, um, and he's making it this year. I think it means so much more to them. So... Um, when that time gets closer and stuff, they don't ever watch my video, so I'll show you what um, he's came up with. And other than that, I started making bread this morning. I felt like baking today, so I got my brioche bread going. You would have saw me putting it together. It now um, rises at least three hours, and I do a trick um, to help it um, rise in the bowl is that you turn you preheat your oven um, I usually preheat my oven like at 350 for about a minute to a minute and a half and then set the timer and once the timer goes off then I shut the oven off and then I wait you know a little bit 
before putting the bowl covered bowl in the oven and then I close it but I also leave the oven light on it helps in a cooler day like today in the house to create that warmth that it needs to grow so um, and this is the type of bread that you don't need it you know where you dump it onto the counter and with flour and then you you know push into it for you know need knead it with your hands um, for up to 10 minutes this one you just it'll be really sticky and I'll have to throw flour on it to get it out of the bowl and on the counter and I will roll it around a little bit till I can handle it and then I'll shape it put it in the loaf pan and let it do its second rising on the stove um, for about 45 minutes and then it will bake for 45 minutes so but I'll take you along on the process <clears throat> but on this hat here I only have um, let's see I have to see where I'm at I only have two more rows to do on this one well actually four because two will be the pattern and then two will be to um, decrease the top cinch it all up and then um, I will make a pom-pom and what I like about these is that this is the um, the brim and it basically it rolls so this will roll up it's not easy to do one-handed but it will roll up so it gets that extra thickness and this really fits really nice on on the head so I will try to anybody that is interested I will try to um, remember to link it in the description box along with the bread recipe <clears throat> and anything else that I might be doing today I haven't decided yet I know I want to finish this so I'm going to sit here this morning get this um, finished um, at least cinched in and sewn up and get that done so that I have one left to do but other than that the kitchen's been cleaned up oh just a second okay the clock was gonna bong <laughs> I know my friend Sandy Miss Sandy always says oh I'm just too kind so that you guys don't hear it but it's pretty loud for me too but anyways, um, I don't know what else I'll be doing today, but I do know I want to finish this. Um, work on the bread when it's time to do that. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll go and see if there's something that I want to sew or cross stitch or read or who knows. But I'm sure I'll take you along and I will um, see you um, at lunchtime. My breakfast was my smoothie. Um, it was three points with the skim milk, frozen fruit, um, non-Greek, non-fat Greek yogurt, and a banana, and my cup of coffee. Oh, I should show you. You probably have already saw my mug. I have my other Michigan mug that was handmade. We get these from a farm over in Saranac. Um, so... I really like this one too. But anyways, I'm going to let you go. Let Miss Callie just enjoy the, the quiet of the morning. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks, friends. Okay, friends, I got the hat done. Cinched it in up there. Now I'm going to do a pom-pom. And if you've never made a pom-pom before, you can either do it with a pom-pom maker like this, or you can do it on um, a piece of cardboard and wrap it around that. But basically, I want a two-tone, and how this is, is it opens up, and you just wrap it around. And when you have enough on there... It's hard to do one-handed you just close it up and then you open up the other side and you do the same thing and then there is a groove right in between there so I will take my shears and I'll cut all the way through on both sides 
and then before separating I will take a string and tie several times and um, triple knot down the middle so it won't um, come apart so let me show you what this all looks like I'll bring you right back okay so I have a long string of yarn and I've tied it and wound it through that groove several times and knotted it because you don't want to have this come apart and then um, what I do is I just lift these bars up and it leaves that in there just a second and then when the bars open up it's like this and then this should just pull right off just like that and you have a pom-pom now I'll have to oh, whoops, fluff it up trim it and then I'll attach it to the um, hat but that's basically you just trim off all the um, extra long pieces there's usually not too many but it's pretty good and then you just attach it to the top of your hat so I'll show you the finished product and there is attached to the hat so this hat is finished it is all done so I can check another Christmas gift off friends lunch today is four points and for four points I'm having grapes which are zero got these at Aldi's and boy are they good and they are nice and big ones too if I show you like this one here but they are zero points I have um, two points worth of bread Aunt Millie's light whole wheat bread one point per slice inside my sandwich I have the sandwich slices of pickles those are zero I have um, one points worth of light mayo and I have um, one serving or three ounces of um, Hillshire turkey and that is one point so again lunch today is four points Hey friends, so this is what the rise or what the dough looks like and it has risen beautifully. It's got lots of good bubbles in it and stuff. I have greased my pan. It suggests butter. You grease it however, but this is how we do it or I do it. So I'm going to empty this onto the flour board, but before I can, because this is pretty sticky, so I will sprinkle some flour all over the edges like that and then I will put my hand in there and pull it all out and put it onto the counter and I will bring you back okay and this is what it looks like and it is really feeling good this is a good dough today so I'm going to put it into the baking dish I'm going to set it on the um, stove for another 45 minutes for its final um, rise before it goes in the oven and then I will show you what it looks like before it goes in and of course after it comes out and once it's cut.